So this guy here is Bubba, and Bubba's got a lot going on for him. He's got an amazing family, a great job, he's the pastor at the local Baptist church, and the mayor of his town, and everyone seems to love Mayor Bubba. Well, maybe not everyone. There is this guy, Craig. Craig writes for a right-wing news website in Alabama. He's also super religious. And one day, Craig stumbles upon Mayor Bubba's Instagram account. But this wasn't no regular Instagram account. It was a secret one. On this account, Mayor Bubba would post pictures of himself dressed in drag. And he allegedly went by Brittany Blair, and he would describe himself there as a thick transgender woman. Now, I don't know why we live in a world where he had to keep this secret, because I, I think he looks great. Anyway, then Craig finds a secret Reddit account that also allegedly belongs to Mayor Bubba, where he was active in trans and plus-size fashion subreddits. And then he finds a bunch of spicy fan fiction, allegedly written by Mayor Bubba, which I read, and it's spicy. So Craig reaches out to Mayor Bubba to be like, hey, we're gonna do a story on this and expose you and we have proof. And Mayor Bubba's like, oh no, this is bad. And he explains that, yeah, sometimes he wears his wife's clothing for fun. And it's a stress reliever and his wife knows, but it's a private matter. And most importantly, he allegedly begs Craig not to expose him to the public. So does Craig expose him to the public? Yes, he does. He immediately writes an article exposing all of this. The pics in drag, the Reddit stuff, the spicy fanfic, all of it. And of course, that article blows up. And Mayor Bubba does get a lot of support, but it's Alabama, so you can imagine he also gets a lot of hate. Now that same day that that article comes out, Mayor Bubba is scheduled to give a sermon at his church. So he's like, gotta get up and address all this. I apologize for any embarrassment caused by my private and personal life. But still, a lot of people online continue to attack him. Official Baptist leaders in Alabama put out a joint statement calling it unbiblical behavior. Then, to make it worse, Craig published a second article about Bubba, this time focusing on the fan fiction. And all of this was allegedly a lot for Mayor Bubba to handle. And people around him soon start to notice he's not doing so well. And at least one of those people calls the sheriff's department to do a welfare check on him. So the sheriff's department sends two deputies to do the welfare check, and it's a small town, so they find Mayor Bubba driving around. They flip on their lights to get him to pull over. He doesn't pull over. Like, he isn't trying to outrun them. He's not even speeding. He's just not pulling his car over. Now this low speed chase goes on for about 10 minutes and eventually he stops his car and he gets out and right there in front of the two deputies he has a pum pum and he unalives himself. Now pretty soon after this whole story blows up and people are mad at Craig for outing Mayor Bubba. So they find his Twitter account and they really go after him and they say things I won't repeat. And since then Craig hasn't tweeted anything, hasn't written any articles for his website, nothing. So we don't really know how he feels about all this. And all this happened in Smith Station, Alabama, so shout out to Alabama. 